Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will learn about prisms and surface area of a prism. Now we know that polyhedron is a solid with flat faces and straight edges Now here you can see various types of polyhedrons. Now all these figures are called polyhedrons as they are the solids with flat faces and straight edges. Now let us discuss what is a prism. Now a prism is a polyhedron. with two identical parallel faces and these faces are called the basis of the prism and the lateral faces are the faces that join the bases. Now among these polyhedrons, these three polyhedrons are called the prisms. As here you can see that these three polyhedrons have two identical parallel faces. Now here you can see that in this prism we have two identical parallel faces that is the faces ABC and DEF. And here the faces that are joining the bases are called the lateral faces. So here the face ACFD the face A, B, E, D and the face B, C, F, E are called the lateral faces. Similarly, you can see the identical parallel faces and the lateral faces in these two prisms also. Now let us discuss types of prisms. Now there are various types of prisms. And a prism is named by the shape of its base. Now here we have drawn some of the types of prisms. Now this prism is called a triangular prism. As its base is in the shape of a triangle. Similarly, in the second prism we can observe that the base is in the shape of a rectangle. So this will be called a, a rectangular prism. Similarly, the next prism is called a pentagonal prism and this prism is called a hexagonal prism. So we have triangular, rectangular, pentagonal, hexagonal, and so on different types of prisms and a prism is named by shape of its pins. Now let us discuss how to draw a prism. First of all let us discuss how to draw a triangular prism. In the first step, we will take two identical and parallel triangles. Now in the second step, connect the vertices of the two triangles by line segments and hidden lines must be dotted lines. Now lateral faces of a triangular prism 
R per gli elettrons. Now let us discuss how to draw a rectangular prism. Now here in the first step, draw two identical and parallel rectangles. Then in the next step, connect two corresponding vertices. And here also, the hidden lines must be dotted lines. Now the lateral faces of a rectangular prism are rectangles and the bases of this rectangular prism are also rectangles. Now a matchbox, tissue box, book etc. are rectangular prisms. Now if we take two parallel regular hexagons that is regular polygons with six sides we obtain a hexagonal prism whose bases will be hexagons and lateral faces are rectangles that join the two hexagons. Now let us discuss how to find surface area of a prism by using a net. Now the surface area of any polyhedron is the sum of the areas of its lateral faces and the bases. We can also say that surface area of a prism is the area covered by the net. Now let us see what is a net. Now a net is the two dimensional representation of a three dimensional figure. Now let us find the surface area of this triangular prism by using a net. Now here the base of this triangular prism is a triangle with dimensions 5 cm, 12 cm and 13 cm and let the distance between the two bases be 10 cm. And here, the base is a right angled triangle. Now let us draw the net of this triangular prism. Now the bases of this triangular prism are triangles with height 5 cm, base 12 cm and high hypotenuse 13 cm. Now first of all we will draw the rectangle with length 10 cm and width 5 cm. So here we have drawn the rectangle ABCD. Now here you can see in the given diagram with the edge AB triangle AFB is attached and with the edge CD triangle CDE is attached to the rectangle ABCD. So now we will draw these two triangles. So we have drawn the triangles ABF and CDE with the edges AB 
and CD respectively of the rectangle ABCD. Also we can see in the given diagram vector HBC rectangle BFEC is attached and vector HAD rectangle AFED is attached to the rectangle ADCB. So we have drawn these two rectangles. Now we will find the surface area of this triangular prism by adding the areas of all these faces. Now area of rectangle FBCE will be equal to length into width that is 13 into 10 which is equal to 130 centimeter square. Now area of the rectangle AFED will be equal to 12 centimeters into 10 centimeters which is equal to 120 centimeter square. Area of the rectangle ABCD will be equal to 10 into 5 that is 50 centimeter square. Now area of triangle AFB is equal to area of triangle CTE is equal to half into base. Now base here is 12 centimeters into height that is 5 centimeters. So this is equal to now 2 into 6 is 12 and 6 into 5 is 30. So the area of this triangle is 30 centimeters square and the area of the triangle CDE is also 30 centimeters square. Now to find the surface area of this triangular prism, in the last step we will add all these areas. So the surface area of the given triangular prism is equal to 130 centimeter square plus 50 centimeter square plus 120 centimeter square plus 30 centimeter square plus 30 centimeter square which is equal to 360 centimeter square. So in this way we can also find the surface area of all types of prisms by drawing the net of the prism. Just remember that surface area of the prism will be the sum of the areas of all the faces of the prism. So in this session we have learnt about prisms and surface area of a prism. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.